the work. Uh, I've been putting the windproof uh, plates on the wall, making them, uh, adjusting them in size. And now I'm going to hammer them into place with some nails. So this is the shortened wall for the bathroom. Uh, and Missy is doing some wood work on the second floor. Then I'm done nailing the windshield plates to the wood. Some small gaps, but I'm mostly happy about it. So this is starting to look like a wall, which is quite incredible. I like it. Rolling. Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to the new update video. Uh, this is one exciting day. Uh, we have, since the last video, we have uh, built both of the short walls. And we've just gotten one wall up on the trailer. And we got the second one ready behind me here. And it's pretty huge. I didn't I'd say. expect it so tall. No. Um, but I, I'm hoping it will equal out as the big walls get up. So the plan now is to get the second wall up on um, the kitchen end. Yeah, that's what we're thinking. To start building the big walls on the trailer as we go. Yep. Uh, we're probably going to need some kind of... Um, Jetpack? Uh, we can't get this high uh, standing up tall. So I don't know what we're going to do about that. Hi everyone, uh, I have a little update. Uh, we're about to uh, put on the floors uh, in the trailer. You got all the four walls up. And, um, well, as you can see, it's just uh, the wooden beams on the long walls. And we have wind plates on the short walls. And no roof. Uh, there's nothing in the second floor. Uh, but we have put on the beams for the lofts. But we did that today. And next now is to put in the isolation in the floors. So it will be easier to work in the, on the lofts. That's the plan. What you working on there, Missy? It's the floors! The it's floors, the floors is done! Yay! Um, it did go quite smoothly actually, except a couple of screws from the inside to the wooden beams on the, on the walls. That was quite tricky and uh, the wires for the lights didn't really come up with a good plan on that. So that kind of kicked us in the ass. Uh, and well... There's a little writing on the wooden plates here that says this side down, so I guess that's not a good sign, but <laughs> I think we're going to go with it anyway. Yeah, Hope for so. the best. Well, we finished the short walls first. Uh, these. That's the short wall? Yeah. We finished them on the ground and uh, just took them up from the ground with the plates on, the wind plates. And since then we've uh, built these long walls uh, on the trailer. Uh, uh, but both walls seem to be doing fine now. And they seem to be oh, uh, rigid enough. So it's quite solid. Uh, and. Uh, yeah. Uh, another thing is to remember to use support beams everywhere. We have a 80 centimeter window here. 
and uh, we use support on the top here. As you can see, we have put on the lofts, but it's not ready to work on the lofts yet. Um, we can't stay up there because the trailer is not stable enough yet. And to get it stable enough, uh, we are going to use more of these support beams to make the house yeah, stiffer, if you can say that. Uh, because it's very... It's kind of flexible up there. Right? It's very flexible. You can feel every move you do in the whole house. <laughs> yeah. So this is um, the overview of how we have connected the um, loft. What you see here is the shirt wall. No, excuse me, uh, the end beam of the long wall. And then there's the top beam of the long wall. And these are the beams for the loft. That goes across the room. And this is the lower beam of the loft. So here there's going to be beams going up. We have connected the beams for the loft with uh, steel. Uh, and since these are uh, a little smaller than the beams we would prefer to use, we have put these beams uh, with 30 centimeters distance. And this is a 1.4 meter uh, loft up in the room. And we have used six beams for that. So they're pretty close. Uh, and in between the, uh, these beams, we have the floor. And the floor is going to be screwed down to the beams, of course. Well, what I've done! Uh, I would definitely recommend uh, working on this in a hall, some sort of a big workshop or something, but we don't have access to that. So uh, me and my dad, we have put up um, tarps, two big tarps, it's like 10, 10, 7, yeah, 10, so this is like, eight, like 70 square meters. And what we've done is to put the whole tarp over the house. The roof have two layers of tarps right now, but I would say the lower tarp is almost not necessary. Uh, we just used the green tarp mostly. The blue tarp just leads the water down basically. Uh, but this is like the fourth time we have installed the tarp. And this is definitely what I'm most, uh, it seems pretty good. I've, I've used uh, wooden work to get a workspace here. It isolates uh, any entrance on the outside of the trailer, so you can't like go in and out here, but uh, it works. Definitely much better than the last time. Yeah, I would say so. Uh, and. Yeah can actually work without lifting the tarps away from your screw uh, thingy. Yeah, it was really awful annoying. working here <laughs> before. And when it was windy, it was like uh, the tarp would come and hug you. And like, uh, well, you can see like this, and you have to work with the tarp all around you. And it was really difficult to not get annoyed. Yeah. But this is a lot better. I'm very happy with this. Um, so yeah, I would. If you don't have a haul, definitely get um, one or two really good tarps. Uh, our problem is that uh, these holes are not strong enough to take wind. Yeah. So you have to screw in like a piece of wood and um, tighten in that. Was it? I mean, fasten it that way. So in both short way. I fastened a, um, a piece of wood on top of the tarp here, all the way from the bottom and up, and on. The 
don't Jax. think we have uh, talked about that. Yeah, either. we didn't talk about that. Um, we forgot to put Jax on before we started on the um, walls. Yeah. And that made the whole building... Um, Not uh, exactly horizontal, to say the least. Yeah, it was very wrong angled. Yeah. So even though my dad said we should put on, like uh, the first thing we should do was to put one jack in each corner and make sure that everything was straight and good, uh, we sort of forgot anyways. Yes, we did. And when we finally got to a point that we were looking at jacks, uh, we ended up with a five-ton jack. Yeah, they are slightly difficult to put in because they're a little tall from the ground and up. It's 45 centimeters from the ground to the metal frame. These are like standard uh, garage jacks. Yeah. Okay. And uh, but they are quite cheap, so we found found them. Uh, in this shop in Rörus, and it's uh, the best choice for us, I think. Definitely, and they can uh, basically just stay there as long as we need to. So we plan to use them later when the house is done. To, uh, yeah. They're so surprisingly small yeah. and very easy to use and very cheap, so I'm very happy with these jacks, but just remember to put them on before you start on the walls. Yeah. 